time to consider the high cost of storing your stuff. Our things stored are often unused. We store them away and forget about them and don't use them. And they're just taking up valuable space in our homes, sometimes even outside of our homes in an expensive outside storage unit. <clears throat> it's time to realize that 80% of your stuff that you file away or store away is probably never gonna be used again. Time to go through it all. Second thing maybe you wanna consider is seasonal decorations, especially in your third act of life. That's ages 60 through 90 and beyond. <sighs> maybe the kids are out of your home and they have their own Christmas traditions. They can enjoy their own seasonal decorations and now you're not so much into them. You did it for the kids or you did it for yourself and now you're kind of wanting to spend your holidays in a, in a um, more valuable way. Besides spending it on baking cookies and decorating, you wanna really get some real true value out of the holidays and spend time doing some fun things. To me, decorating was not fun anymore. So I gave most of my decorations away. I had 12 great big huge bins of Christmas decorations. And now I have a little teeny 12 foot ceramic tree, which I love putting up every year. It's so cute and I love it. And a, and a string of lights I string on my patio. That's it, takes me 10 seconds. <laughs> As opposed to hours putting it up and hours putting it down and still taking up the storage space. So consider your seasonal decorations, whether or not you really want to do that anymore, or you're just doing it because you think you ought to do it, that you should do it. I want to read a verse to you. Where did I put it? Okay, I put it right over here. Where is it? Okay. It's Matthew 6, right out of the mouth of Jesus. He says, this is the message version, which is kind of really makes it clear. He says, don't hoard treasure down here where it gets eaten by moth and corroded by rust or worse, stolen by burglars. Stockpile your treasures in heaven where it's safe. <laughs> where, it's safe from uh, moth and rust and burglars. It's obvious, isn't it? The place where you treasure is is the place you most want to end up being, and that's in heaven. So that's Matthew chapter six, verses 20 and 21. Can't get more plain than that. So consider the stuff you're storing. And I, I do realize that people like me do not need huge basements or garages packed full of stuff that I'm not using. I thought I was being organized all labeled and neatly stacked, but not used. They belong, those items belonged in other people's homes, not mine. So I'm glad I no longer, I live in a senior community now, uh, in a fourth story apartment. Um, no, uh, we have a little tiny storage locker down in the basement, but I'm planning on even paring that down to very little. It's got a few pieces of luggage, and some items um, that I only use occasionally. But I'm still gonna go through it real soon here and pare that down. So consider the time, the money, the mental and emotional stress that your stuff is causing you. And maybe it's time to think about giving it to somebody that can actually use it.